welcome back to my channel. Let's just get into it. This is going to kind of be a quick video. Um, I don't have much to show. So I'll show you what I do have. It's not much. So um, this last week I did get started on Sunflower Manor. Hi Priscilla. Um, I really, really, really am enjoying this. I am doing this on 28 count Jobelin that I dyed myself. It's more of like a mottled light to darker like slate gray. I haven't gotten much. I really haven't. Um, I'm a much slower stitcher on not Ada. <laughs> um, but I really, really like the look. My stitches look amazing actually. Um, it's not hard. I just have to concentrate more and um, so I really have to be in the mood to want to concentrate and normally whenever I'm stitching I like to watch TV at the same time and I just I don't have to concentrate as much with Ada so as much as I like the look um, this is going to take me a lot longer but I'm okay with that. Um, so this is the this is the pattern so I've done these two outlines, the E and part of the M. So I haven't gotten very far, but I do love the way that it's coming out. Um, and I like it on the lighter gray. Um, I just do. All right. So that's that. The other one that I've been working on, I've mostly been working on at work, um, on like my lunch break. And I'll just unroll this because I'm not going to take it off the frame because it took forever to get it on the frame. But this is my Plague Doctor. I did finish this page over here. So there is part of his right eye um, and his hat. And I've started um, down here. I did part of his neck, um, but I wanted to see how far down it was going to go. So I did all the way down and then I'm starting to fill in this chunk so that way I can move it up again. So um, I've made some pretty decent projects, project, I've made some pretty decent progress at lunch and um, he's, he's, he's really fun to work on. Um, I'm probably going to work on him some today though because I've really just been enjoying working on it. Um, it goes pretty fast. I just, I've only been working on him at lunchtime, so it doesn't seem like it goes very fast. Um, but that's all that I've done this week. I've been trying to be really super productive. I got the shirts in, and um, yesterday I started dyeing those, so parts of my fingers are currently blue. Um, I will show one of the shirts in the next video, um, but I've been working on that and decorating and cleaning and stuff that I've just really been needing to get done. Um, so I just haven't been able to stitch as much at nighttime. So I did something and it's Adele's fault. So Adele, Adele, I'm not mad, but I, I didn't need to spend this money. Um, I also... Yeah, in like a few days I'll be able to blame Michelle and McKenna too. But um, anyways, she showed me this. And she didn't actually show me this. This was already in my wish list. But she convinced me to go ahead and just get it. Because I'm really enjoying the Soda Stitch um, projects. They're just so much fun to like do. Like, I, I, I just, I love them. But anyways, she asked me if I had seen this pattern. And I had seen this pattern. Um, because... Y'all know I'm Italian, so I love Italian things. And I really want to make this for my kitchen. And I had just been, like, waiting to, like, make it or, like, buy the pattern. So I went ahead and I bought this from Jeannie's Cross Stitch um, on Etsy. But it's called Pasta Time. And it has a really nice bowl of pasta. And it has clams in it. And I personally hate. I don't know. I don't eat that. But my dad, actually, that's one of his favorite pastas. So I'm definitely going to leave that. Um, and then you have like a little um, fork and a spoon because that's how you eat pasta. We got a little bottle of wine over here. And then we have all the different types of pasta. 
Farfalla is one of my absolute favorites, to be quite honest. It's um, also better known as bow tie pasta, but I love farfalla. I, it's been my favorite since I was a kid. Macaroni, obviously. Um, ravioli is one of my favorite types of pasta. Um, fusilli, fettuccine. We got some olive oil and some cheddar. Actually, I think that's supposed to be Swiss cheese. Um, well, it has little holes like it's Swiss cheese. I may take the little holes out and make it look more like Asiago because you don't put Swiss cheese on pasta. You don't. Um, you put Asiago or Parmesan on pasta. Asiago is better though. Just saying. Um, <laughs> then you got some mushrooms, which are some of my favorite things in the entire world. Some onion and some garlic. So there's some garlic, there's some onion and some peppers because we do like things a little spicy. And then we got our tomatoes for our pasta sauce. And then down here you have penne, spaghetti, rouette, um, uh, I'm not going to say this one right, um, but it's it's the large shells, um, but it's Corchigli? I don't know. I know I said that wrong, so don't hate me. Um, and then Celicherini, um, which in America we call something different too. I think we call it Rotini here. Or maybe that's Fusilli we call Rotini. I can't tell by the picture. They both are spiraled. I think this is the one that we call rotini here. Anyways, I mostly cook with penne or farfalla. It's absolutely my favorite. I have made homemade ravioli before. Whenever I was a kid with my mom, I've also made homemade spaghetti noodles. Um, it's awesome. But anyway, so it tells you, it shows you different ways that you can do it. Um, and it breaks it, you know, you get the smaller one and then the massive one. <laughs> the massive one. Um, but I'm trying to look and see what the size of the massive one is. It's 170 by 240. So it's not that bad. But I really do. I love how big their pictures are. I mean, like, it, it's hard to make a working copy for yourself. So, like with the cats, that's one reason why I'm a little bit slower on that too is because I, I've i tried making a working copy and it was just really, really, really hard to do. So, um, I just like overly count a million times. Um, and no pattern can travel alone. And since they're coming all the way from Korea, I decided to get a couple extras. And so, I got the, new, the newer Beauty and the Beast this is one of the fairy tales that I do not have. It's so cute. And several people are working on this one. And I just love it. I really do. It's so pretty. So pretty. Really like this one. Um, I want to eventually have the entire fairy tale collection. Um, let's see. I have... Now I have this one. Um, I know that I have The Wizard of Oz... Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White, and I believe um, I have another one. I don't have The Nutcracker, Anne of Green Gables, and I can't remember if I have Hansel and Gretel or Alice in Wonderland. I feel like I have Alice in Wonderland. And I feel like I have, I don't know. I don't know. Um, then I also got The Little Mermaid. Um, just because Little Mermaid was one of my all-time favorite movies. Um, I will change these to greens, this to purple, and her hair to red, though. Um, just because. I think that's a necessity. Um, and also, one of these fish I would probably make bigger and make it look like flounder. Um, and have one giant flounder fish. That's probably something that I would do. Um, 
But yeah, these aren't very big. They're only 103 by 103. They're really small. They're e like they're they're easy. I mean, it's just it's their patterns are easy. It's just a lot of backstitch, but honestly, like the backstitch absolutely make the pattern. So, um I just I started I started collecting more of these. Um oh my gosh. Um Pinocchio. The Pinocchio one is so freaking cute. I almost also got Pinocchio, but I was like, no, no, stop buying patterns. So, um, so yeah, mini haul, not much work done this week. I am so sorry, guys. There are changes coming in October. So get excited. I'm going to be try and be better about having a schedule. I'm going to try and be better about having an actual system in my videos of the order that I show. I'm going to try and basically I'm just going to be more organized. That's what I want to do with my life. So look forward to that in the first official October video because I don't count this one. Um, this is kind of like a September wrap up because all this happened in the last week of September. So there you go. And I will, very short, very short, very sweet. I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.